a lot of people don't know, guys, that there's other companies that have gyros. And uh, this is the quick uh, gyro from uh, from Quick. The gyro baby. <laughs> That's that stops the roll, yeah. Over here guys at the Annapolis show. Look at this. The people are just going crazy. So Steve. Yes. First of all, let me say I'm pretty hungover. And and if I were on a boat today that was rocking, I'd probably, you know, chum the waters. Yeah. But in this case, we might have an alternative for me, right? Yes. On, on this boat. We have an alternative for you on this boat. Okay, so so maybe you guys can help me out because I got to get somewhere later, and you guys are doing demos on this boat. Mm -hmm. So, talk to me about your gyro system and what it does. So basically, we t with our gyro system, typically most of the people get seasick because the boat rocks left and right. Okay. Okay. So what happens is the motion makes the people squeezy. What we've been able to do with our technology is we've actually been able to take the roll out of the vessel. So when you, as you just saw, when you stepped on the vessel, it was a very stable. If the gyro wasn't on, the the the, 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 the vessel would have actually dipped down on one side and, and picked up on the opposite side. What our gyro allows us to do is to stop that. Yeah. So when a weight comes and hits the side of the boat, our gyro is going to basically counteract that weight. Instead of allowing a boat go to like this, it basically holds the boat flat. So all you do is you ride up and over the weight. So what we can do is, if you want, we can rock this boat and we can stop it from rocking if you'd like to see it. All I have to do is just go to one side. I'm, I'm sure it'll rock. <laughs> so, all right. All right. So I don't, hear, I don't hear anything. There's so nothing going on. So, we have the gyro sped up. So what we're going to do is right now, our unit's on. We're going to start to rock the boat manually. We're going to push the boat back and forth. So when you get a wake that hits your boat, your boat's going to rock back and forth like that. That's what's going to make you seasick. To stop that, I activate my gyro. Wow. And now... That's crazy. I can sit here and swing that is back nuts. and forth. And the boat doesn't move. I want to. I want to get off the. I got to get off here, guys. Hold on a second. Do that again because I want this. I want the view and the perspective of what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Unlock it now. And when when you turn it on. You turn it on and now there's no rocking, guys. That's pretty crazy. So, all right. So I just wanted to get that perspective. All right, so this, this, this unit, this is, I mean, this is it? This is how big the unit is that did all that? Yes. That's it? The identical unit. The identical unit's right here in this cabin. How, how many sizes? We go from, we can go from a Basically a 28-foot boat all the way up to a 100-foot vessel. Depending uh, uh, on the uh, size uh, of the vessel, we, we change the sizes, they increase exponentially. Okay. This unit right here is uh, 19 by 19 by 24 inches. So so you can you have it inside the hull? Typically, this would be installed inside the hull. Okay. this particular boat, we retrofit an existing boat. We put it a little bit higher up on the deck. We tied it into the stringers like it was supposed to be done, but we made it a little bit higher and we put it in underneath the console so that we could actually show the customers when they walk. That, that okay. So there's a there's a show aspect of this, yeah, and and this is a a Buddy Davis boat, man. I'm telling you. Buddy Davis, 34. Wow. She's a beautiful she's, boat. Yeah, she's a great boat. And you guys, um, you guys use this in your shows and we, stuff like we that. We run this uh, from Florida all the way up. 
through New England as a demo boat. So, and so we take it to the different shows. The boat was typically at Miami, Fort Lauderdale, here in Annapolis, West Palm Beach. Uh, we had one of our demo vessels just over in Tampa the other week. So Steve, let me ask you, um, what, what's the, like for this, this 7K, what's the, the the price for the actual unit itself? Not 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 talking about installation. The average, the average, probably the price for this particular unit is about thirty thousand dollars. About thirty thousand dollars. And it would depend on the vessel that you're putting into what it involves to, because we're exerting a huge amount of force into the hull okay. to do that to do that anti-roll torque. So we have to make sure that the substrate is on this particular on this particular uh, installation. The main stringers of the vessels run just outside of this console. Okay. And we have a plate that bridges that those main stringers. Okay. And allows us to transfer the torque directly into those two main stringers, which provides the best amount of uh, transference of the torque. Do, the does hull. does that roll only happen, or or that gyro work when it's it's only still, or is it also while it's running? No, we can use it while it's running. When when the vessel's running, the gyro does not change the performance of the turns of the vessel, okay. it only takes out the roll. So if you're actually wanting to do a tight turn, the gyro will not fight you into a tight turn. It will keep the performance of the vessel. Wow. So, the so only it, thing we can't take out is the bounce of the vessel. The bounce. But you never want to do that because that's kind of dangerous. You never want to dip the bow into a wave. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, check them out. Where can they find the information on, on this? On uh, quick nautical equipment. Quick nautical, and that particular unit is is what is it? This is this is our uh, quick gyro. It's our MC2. MC2X. No, MC2. Oh, MC2. MC2. MC2 7K, right? Yes, yeah, this is the 7K. And we go from our 2K, which is our smallest unit, which is uh, 220 pounds. A 2K? 2K. 220 pounds. So tell me about that because I think a lot of people. I think there's a huge market for smaller boats. Yeah, it can go into about a 28 foot boat. It's okay. 228 pounds. And it will, it will just stabilize a boat up to about 20 to 30 foot. What's, what's, what's the going price on a unit like that? It's about uh, $15,000. $15,000, dude. And you don't have nobody throwing up on the boat? I think, that's, I, think that's, I think that's worth it, guys. What do you guys think about this, Buddy Davis? You mind if I uh, walk the gunnels here on this bad boy? Right ahead. All right, guys, look. We got this Buddy Davis. Let's take a look at this. I will only do this on a Buddy Davis, guys, because these gunnels here are immense. So this is the quick boat. Look at this thing, man. How cool is this boat, huh? Buddy Davis, these guys here at quick. I mean, absolute sexiness, dude. I mean, look at this thing. I'm walking on the gunnels, guys. I can't say that I, I would trust to do this in a lot of other boats. But one of the things about the Buddy Davis boats, so I just showed them a little bit about, uh, of the boat. Can you show me where they would press the gyro to be on and off? It's right here on our, our main screen, in the helm, and it's a simple active, activate the unit. Okay, so uh, uh, is this it... is basically we just turn the unit off. So it's, as you notice, the boat is starting to rock. Okay, you can see that the the screen is probably moving a little bit. Okay, yes. And now, if we just turn it back on, all right. Now, yeah. Leave it like that, Steve. I'm hungover, man. You're gonna kill me, dude. Leave it, leave it on. I'm hungover. I'm gonna be chumming the waters here <laughs> in Maryland. All right, guys. Well, check them out, the guys here at Quick, and uh, I'm gonna put the description in the below. Look how small these things are, guys. That is so crazy. I'm so glad I found this company. I didn't even know this company did that. I didn't even know you guys existed. Well, thank you. But now, guess what? Everybody's going to know because everybody watches my channel. We do this, guys, in the boating world. This is why we're here.